Hello, folks. Another Blind Melon track. This one was requested by Rick Condon over at Patreon. Thanks indeed for your support over there, sir. If you don't know what Patreon is, check it out in the link below. So here's the four pedals that I'm using. Uh, two of them, the Noise Suppressor and the Evermore Reverb, are basically staples. I use them all the time now. They're really, really cool. So with just those, we have... Then we add on the Black Mountain from Greer. Without the noise suppressor, it sounds like this. And with it on, so just cuts it right down. Very last part of the tune, I'm using the harmonious monk. I mean, it's literally used for the last chord, but it just sounds so cool, I thought I'd include it. And that's using the harmonic trem side of the pedal. So let's crack on with the first riff, standard tuning, and the timing is kind of six eight. So we have. Like that, okay? So we're gonna do three of E. Three of G. I'm not actually doing the full G there, I'm only doing it to the sort of B string. And then a D5 for uh, one bar. Or six eighth notes. Around again. But this time we go to the F for three stabs. So I'm muting it with my right hand there and my left hand by just squeezing down when I need to. And then you go round it a second time. Second time though, you just do two stabs, okay? Then the next riff, you just palm muting. that okay so that's one guitar part so we're going to go e to g then up to d then we've got e to g to f like that pretty straightforward the other guitar part is playing it's playing that but it is an overdub and i think if you go to like the middle pickup or neck pickup, you're going to get a bit closer to the um, uh, to the original tone. But you know, if you're going to play it on one guitar, pretty straightforward, isn't it? I'll just do the fills very slowly, and then. Very straightforward. The next part's really cool. We get this. Which is going over the top of. Goes over the top of that, right? So it's all on the B and E string. Eight and tenth fret, which goes. Then you've just got the eighth fret. Eight, seven. Slide that shape down two frets and play it six times. But in between, there's some whack, whack, whack going on. So for the last three eighth notes, you cover the strings with your hands, just so it's just percussive muting there. So you'd have... If it's easier for you to do the percussive whack in between the uh, the chords you're playing, the double stops. Then do that instead, right? Then we're into the chorus. Guitar one plays uh, basically C, G, A minor, E major. Okay, so. Like that. So you're going to play the chord and then let me just turn the gain off. Like that. So 
So it's down, down, up. Up, down, up. Okay. One more time slowly. And the other guitar is playing this. That sort of stuff, right? So we start with the C chord. And when he goes to the G, the other guitar goes to the G, you get this. Okay, then this repeating pattern. Okay, so 10, 8, 7, 8, 7, 9. Little run up, triplet run up, right? Okay, so that's the second section. So we have three, four, two, three, four. Okay, that's the second part. So you have a three beat rest, and then we have. Then. Next section goes. Same as before, but what you're doing this time is. So you could leave it ringing out if you like that. But I think it's just played. Same shape, up two frets. Back around. Again, we have. Like that, okay? So, one more time. Two, three, four, one. Just subtle difference in the phrasing there, but then you're gonna go up to the 12th fret and you're gonna play. Like that, right? The other guitar part is playing. Like that. You just play it once round, okay? So again, the lead guitar part's going to be playing 12, 10, 8. Like that, while the other guitar's playing E to G to C. Again. So that is um, basically it transitioning from 4-4 four, four into 6-8, into essentially. But easy enough, I think, you go round the whole thing again. Uh, but when you come up to this part, you don't play that. You actually start it on the ninth fret, and you're going to play this. Okay, the other guitar is still playing. Okay, but the lead guitar part goes for this. Nine, seven, five. Easy enough. And then you go up here. We've got that going on, right? So we have... I mean, don't worry too much here, really. It's quite quiet in the mix, but I think he plays... Then I'd leave your, your second finger on the B, right? Slide it up, and then you go to the... And then you're going to add your little finger on top. 
again. Yeah. Might be easy to play that with all downstrokes if you can. Then the next section just goes. Okay, so variation on a the theme. We go 12. to 12, 10, right? And then down to eight and nine. And then the seventh fret on the G and B. Okay, and then the ending is just. And then the final chord is an E minor. And that, folks, is it. All the parts you need. See you soon.